welcome to the overview of the Silver Fox Labacus label software. To start a new job, either click on the button or go to File and select New Job. Next, select the label type you need. These can be labels for cable and core marking, patch panel, equipment outlets and sockets, wiring blocks, cabinet labels. You now have a number of choices. Wrap round self laminating, tie on cable labels, two part wire marking, non shrink tubing, heat shrink, or optical flag labels. We're going to select tie on cable labels. For this example, however, we're going to choose the polyester tie-on cable label that's printed through any standard office laser printer. You can give your job a header. We'll call this one Sample Job. We're now given the option to either leave the label as one whole label or split it into two lines or three lines. There's also the option to split it into two or three columns. We're going to choose a full label with no splits. Next, we come to the Build Editor. It's made up of segments. You can input your information into one or more segments. Click Finish and the software will stream your information onto the labels. The system defaults to two segments, but you can change this. If a segment is left blank, then the software will ignore it. The build editor works in a powerful way designed to save you a lot of time. So, some building examples. You can type your information straight into a segment, then press Finish to stream the information onto the labels. You can use the Sequence tool. Generally, this software defaults to 001 to 100, but in a previous job, we input a different sequence. We're going to enter 001 to 100 with a step of 1 and repeats of 1. Here's the sequence on the labels. Now we're going to change the steps to 2. This has generated 001, 003, 005, and so on. Changing the repeats to 3 will give 3 repeats of each number. You can also use the Sequence tool for alphabetic sequences. Moving to the Repeat option, you can repeat information quickly and easily. We're going to show you how information in more than one segment can be used to work together to make your build much easier. We're going to revert to the 001 to 100 sequence. See what happens when we add letter A to the right segment. Now we're going to add another segment. Alternatively, we could have selected three segments when we entered the build editor. By adding an X dash into this new segment, see what effect it has on the label information. Now we're going to input slash B, slash C and slash D into the right segment. Look at the effect this has on the label data. It produces 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D and so on. By adding Y to the left segment, you produce the build for X and then repeat the whole build for Y. Of course, you don't need to do your build in stages as we've done here. We only did this for demonstration purposes. 
you can enter all your information at the same time, and there's also the option for more builds in the same job if these are required.